going to talk now about uh, risk factors in breast cancer. In other words, what makes a woman at high risk to develop uh, breast cancer? Actually, uh, there are several factors that uh, may make the woman at high risk. First of all, the age. We all know that uh, the uh, cancer in general is, uh, is a disease of age. In the past, uh, they didn't uh, have uh, awareness of uh, cancer because people used to live up, up to 40 years of age and that's it. So they didn't have time to uh, develop cancers and they didn't see it often. But uh, now with advanced age, we see more cancers in general and, and breast cancer in, in women. Uh, the, the usual uh, average uh, incidence of uh, age uh, in, in uh, breast cancer uh, in, in the West, in America for example, uh, usually the average age of incidence is 62 years, while in our area here, in the Arab world, it is 48, so it really develops at a younger age. So we have to be aware, especially when uh, in this age we know it's a uh, age of reproduction and bearing children so we have to really uh, 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 diagnose uh, breast cancer uh, uh, during pregnancy this of course we will talk about this uh, breast cancer in pregnancy in at another time uh, now the second factor is a, a is family history uh, always uh, we have to investigate in history making if the patient has a family member, a sister or a mother uh, or an aunt or cousin has uh, breast cancer. The more she has members uh, affected with breast cancer in her family, the higher the chance that she will develop breast cancer or she has the chance to develop, uh, to develop breast cancer. Third, uh, when did she get married and when did she get her first child? Uh, now, uh, if she uh, delivers her first child after the age of 30, her chance gets higher. Uh, actually, in the past, they used to marry early, and that's a protective, especially if she uh, gets uh, her, her uh, first child uh, in her 20s and uh, uh, makes uh, uh, breastfeeding. Now, in, at our time here, uh, uh, the woman usually uh, doesn't get married till uh, she finishes her university education and uh, has a few years of work. So many a time we face a woman married uh, beyond the age of 30 and delivers uh, her first child after the age of 30. So we have to pay attention to this group. Third uh, or fourth actually, uh, when did she get her first menses? In the past, they usually uh, cut their menses uh, late, at the age of 16. And they probably uh, finished their menses at the age of 40 or even 35. So the period of menstruation or active uh, ovaries is short, so put them on lower risk. The higher risk is when they get their menses early and they uh, have their menopause late, so they are exposed to estrogen for a longer time. Uh, now we have other factors of course, like obesity, eating a lot of uh, fat, uh, sedentary life, not moving much, so that's why we advise exercise for any woman to protect herself uh, from breast cancer. And uh, also we advise them not to uh, receive uh, hormone replacement after menopause, a practice which was uh, really done uh, till, uh, you know, 2002, I guess, when the studies showed that uh, hormonal therapy uh, makes incidence of cancer more. So uh, this is a very important point. We are no more prescribing hormonal therapy uh, like estrogen or progesterone to uh, women after menopause. Uh, this is actually uh, alcohol is a factor also a minor factor but we always advise not to have much alcohol uh, smoking another minor factor but uh, we also advise not to uh, smoke not to drink 
uh, alcohol, especially if she is at high risk. Thank you.